When it comes to budget bait casting combos, there sure is no shortage of them out there on the market. But in this episode, I'm going to give you my recommendations for the best $150, $100, and sub $100 combos out on the market today. And in addition to that, I'm going to tell you exactly what I throw on it and what works best for me, and also how you can avoid a very common mistake when purchasing a bait casting combo. So sit back, relax, and stay tuned, because that's all coming up on Live to Fish. Welcome back to Live to Fish. Thank you so much for stopping in. And don't forget to do me a favor. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash that notification bell. It's going to let you know when Live to Fish puts out new videos. And please don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Hit that like at the end of this video. And also leave me some comments. Let me know what you liked about the video. Let me know what your choices are for the best budget combos. Now, before we get to my recommendations, I did mention the fact that there are common pitfalls or mistakes made when purchasing bait casting combos. And that usually comes when the combo is purchased sight unseen, meaning you buy it online, you're not really in the store, so you can't really look at all the specifications necessarily, or maybe you didn't scroll down to the product specifications within the website and actually take a look at what you're getting. Now, the obvious ones, for instance, are choosing a right-handed reel when you wanted a left-handed reel. Um, some of the model numbers aren't real specific on that. Some are. They have an R or they have an L within the model number to kind of distinguish which one's right-handed and left-handed. But a lot of times you can choose that within the product description as you check out. Some online retailers make it pretty obvious when you're checking out that you have to pick either a right-handed, left-handed, uh, medium-heavy, heavy rod, and even maybe even the rod length. So that way you make sure that you're customizing this rod to your needs. So we'll get into more of that in a second, but one of the most important features that you need to make sure you check on when you're buying a combo is what are the rod specifications and how is it going to meet your needs for what you want to use it for. Now the advantage to being like on site or in a store looking at the combo is you can kind of take a look at the reel and read the specifications, just like what's written right there. Now you can see all the specifications on this exact rod. Sometimes they don't have that listed when you're buying a combo. It'll let you choose right-handed and left-handed for the reel. It'll let you choose the speed of the retrieve, whether it be 8.1 to 1, 6.1 to 1, 7.1 to 1, faster or slower. And many times you'll see the rod length, seven foot, seven foot three. It'll have it listed as medium heavy, medium. And what's commonly overlooked during this process is looking at the specific weights that are recommended for the lures for that specific rod. For example, on this rod here, it has a lure weight of 3 8 to 1 ounce. So it specifies exactly what the recommendations are. Now, this is not a specification stating that you cannot or shall not. It's just basically a recommendation telling you that if you go too light, your sensitivity is not going to be there. And if you go too heavy, the castability and also the sensitivity are going to be a little off. And one of the main things to consider in lure weight and pairing it up with the correct bait casting reel and the rod for that matter, this is important because if you go too light with your presentation outside the recommendations, you could end up with a backlash. Now on the other side, if you go too heavy with a presentation, you could end up with a uh, broken line, losing your lure, or at worst, maybe even a broken rod tip. So make sure if you have something specific in mind, saying throwing a heavy football jig for pitching and flipping, or if you're going to throw a lighter presentation on a Texas rig and maybe a bullet weight, make sure to double check the recommendations on the rod to make sure it's going to be a good fit for the presentations you want to throw. And that's how you can avoid one of the most common pitfalls of purchasing a bait casting combo. And that brings up the point of when you're not going to buy a combo, it makes it a lot easier when you're going to pair a reel with a specific rod for a specific purpose. Now that's a whole bunch of information for another video, but now we're going to get into exactly what my recommendations are for the best budget bait casting combos. Whew, that's a mouthful. Let's get to it. All right, let's start at the high end and work our way down. This is the Pro Qualifier 2 by Bass Pro. This is something that uh, used to be high speed and it says so on the reel itself. It's a 7.5 to 1 ratio. Um, 6 plus 1 bearing system. Max drag is 10 pounds. It comes in at 7.3 ounces for the reel. And uh, this is a workhorse. This is uh, a definitely a good reel. It's something that is very difficult to backlash. Um, even opening it up pretty, pretty well, I have had no issues with this. It's gotten a lot of use through two different seasons now, and you can see it's pretty polished. It's, uh, it's wearing very, very well. And uh, silky smooth retrieve on it. Very, very smooth cast. Casts a mile and well worth the money. Now the rod itself uh, that it's paired with is a 7-foot and it's rated for a quarter to five-eighth ounce weight for the lures. 
an 8 to 17 pound uh, for the test on the line. The power is medium action fast, and I mainly use this for crankbaits and uh, some lighter spinners. But that's what, uh, that's what I use this one for. Like I said, it is a workhorse, and it gets the job done. It uh, is the Bass Pro, Pro Qualifier too. Okay, so I'm breaking these down between mediums and medium heavies because of the fact that I use them for different applications. This is going to be my pick for a medium heavy combo. This is the uh, SLX by Shimano, and this comes in at a 8.2 to 1 ratio on this one. It's uh, 6.9 ounces, so it's pretty light. does have a low bearing system, 3 plus 1. Punch and flip it, you name it. This thing absolutely does it all. The rod length on this one is 7 foot 2 inches. Its line rating is 10 to 20 pounds. Uh, power is medium heavy, action fast. And the lure rating is a quarter ounce to three quarter ounce. Love throwing swim baits on this one. This has gotten uh, a lot of time in the water this year and definitely we'll see some more this next season. You can see this priced upwards of about 200 bucks, but for $150 you can find it, pick it up. All right, let's jump into the $100 price point. This is gonna be a medium action rod. Um, one of my favorite combos again. For this price point, it's the uh, Abu Garcia MLF Major League Fishing Combo. This thing is absolutely outstanding. I can't say enough good things about it. With a 6.4 to 1 ratio and uh, a 4 plus 1 bearing system, this thing is what I use primarily for my top water. Um, I'll use this for the whopper plopper at uh, anything with treble hooks. Um, I like throwing the blade baits on this uh, when it's colder out, beginning of the season and at the end of the season. It does outstanding with jerk baits. You can see it's a seven foot medium. It is uh, rated for one quarter to five eight ounce for the lures and eight to 15 pounds for the test. Um, like I said, this thing definitely gets it done. It's very versatile. Love this little keeper here, especially for the treble hooks. And then I'll keep a protector on top of that just to keep from getting poked. But uh, this is the Abu Garcia MLF combo, 100 bucks, can't beat it. And where do I even start with this one? This is the Abu Garcia Jordan Lee combo that I won from the Combat Fishing Vet for his 100 subscriber giveaway. Thank you and shout out again to you, man. This has been by far one of my absolute favorite combos. This really has a 6.4 to 1 ratio on it. It's a 5 plus 1 bearing system. Comes in at 7.3 pounds. You see I have 30 pound braid on there. Now that's outside the specifications of this, but uh, not for the reel, but for the rod itself. It uh, handles it just fine. I use it for frogging and uh, a lot of topwater lures. It's absolutely outstanding. You see here the rod is a 7 foot medium heavy, 3 8 to 3 quarter ounce lure specification, or recommendation I should say, and a 10 to 20 pound line. But again, I got 30 pound braid on here and it works like a charm. I have yet to have a backlash on this system. This uh, Jordan Lee combo, if there's one I can recommend, and especially at 100 bucks, I would say go out and get this one today. All right, let's dip down below $100, and you're going to see something here. Both of my recommendations for both a medium and medium heavy combo are going to come from the PC Fun Torrent. The PC Fun Torrent is, uh, you're going to get these for around $60 shipped. Full combo. They are two-piece rods, which make them excellent for storage and for, uh, for travel. It's absolutely outstanding. There are only two negatives that I have to say, and one of them you've seen on my review video for the PC Fun Torrent is the fact that you do have to oil these right out of the box. They do not come oiled. A little smaller rod length with a 6.9. Um, line weight is 6 to 14, and lure weight is 1 8 to half ounce. So it can definitely handle uh, some pretty beefy lures. With that being said, the only other negative thing, like I said, besides the fact that you do have to oil these, is the kind of the weight and the size of these. Um, they're a little bit larger profile, so they're a little bit more taxing. Um, if you're going to be using them for a long period of time, like there was the medium that I had. This is the medium heavy. Um, this one comes in at 7 foot as well. Uh, the lure weight is a little bit stouter. It comes in 3 sixteenths to 3 quarter ounce, so almost a full ounce uh, weight on that. But early in the season, I was using the medium action one for jerk baits, and it uh, became pretty tedious with the size of the reel and the weight. Um, as far as the action on the medium heavy, that was what I got my personal best on on that shaky head. So there you have it. Those are my recommendations. Like I said, I added both the medium heavy and the medium because it's in my feeling, in my opinion, when I go out to the bank fishing, um, I want to bring something for, okay, I can, you know, punch with this, but I also want something that I can uh, throw some, maybe some top water or something with some treble hooks. You know, crankbait, spinnerbaits, whatever it may be. So those are my top picks. Um, if I had to pick two overall, I would definitely say uh, I'd have to go with the Shimano SLX. Um, definitely great. And that Abu Garcia Jordan Lee combo, I think that is absolutely outstanding. 
So those are my two top value picks, and yes, they are both medium-heavy combos. Not to say that you can't configure those separately and get those in uh, medium as well. So let me know what some of your favorite combos are, some special deals that you've gotten. Uh, tell me what you like. Tell me what you prefer. Leave some uh, comments down below for me. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like. And uh, until next time, be safe, be well, and as always, live to fish. Take care, everybody.